Hi everyone, today we're going to be looking at the Node-RED user interface or dashboards. Now detailed information contained in the video can be found at accautomation.ca. The links have been put in the description below. If you have not watched the other videos yet, there'll be links in the description below that will start you at video one. There will be links to the rest of the videos in the series as well. Now, Node-RED can easily display interactive information to the user or operator using a web browser on your phone, tablet, or computer. Now, any device that has access to the network in which the Red Node is running has the ability to view the data. We will be installing the Red Node Dashboard Palette. This allows us to create Live Data Dashboard User Interface, or UI. Now, the information from our Solo Process Temperature Controller will be displayed. Set point information can be either set by the Dashboard UI or the Click Analog Input Signal. And this will be selected via the user interface. Now let's get started using Red Nose dashboards. Now this whole series, we started using Node Red in some of the following ways. We installed the Windows software, we did the Modbus communications, and now we'll continue that with our actual user interface or HMI or dashboard. Then future videos, we'll have logging information into a database, and then we'll view that database using spreadsheets like Excel. So here we have our modified version of our uh, Modbus uh, communications that we did before. And the first thing we will do is actually install the dashboard palette. So if we go up to the uh, menu on our header here, we'll go to the manage palette. And then you can see here that we have the Red Node dashboard already installed. But if we didn't, we go to the install, we would type in dashboard. And then here is the uh, Node Red dashboard that we would actually install. You can see here that we have it installed already. So once we install that, close that up, we will actually bring over here and we'll have our nodes for our dashboard displayed here on our left hand side. And there's our dashboard. And you'll notice that we have light colored um, blue buttons indicating that this is the input. And then we have outputs indicating uh, on the darker colors. So the first thing we'll do is take a look at our actual program itself that we have running. And here we have a, uh, uh, our Modbus timestamp. And our timestamp actually will, uh, you see here, we do every half second, we're actually gathering information or setting information. So then we uh, get our information from our solo um, from Modbus RTU, from our Solo Process Temperature Controller. And then what we do is we're using a function block here. So if we call up the function block, you will see here that we have actually our values. This is the same as before, but now we've actually set our flow, our present value as a payload value. And we had our set value, our SV value. And we set this as a, a variable and this is a um, using the variable scopes on on uh, node red so we have on the, on the variable scopes we have content object so it only sure shares it within that same node then we have a flow object which stores it for the data for the entire flow so anything part of that flow can actually uh, uh, view that data and that's in our case here that's what we're doing and then we also have a global object that will store data for the whole canvas of our node red so in this case here, we're saving it to our flow. So we'll cancel that. Then what we do is we put a solo chart here on, on display. So you can see here's my chart. We put that in there. And then before the chart, we actually have a function block. And that function block actually looks at our message, our node red. And what we're doing is taking our present value and dividing that by 10. Because remember, our Modbus does not do float or a float uh, point. So our value will be divided by 10. And then our set point will be divided by 10. And then we'll have two message topics here. One saying present value line and set value line. And then we return both those messages. When we do that, then we go into our solo uh, chart. And here's our chart information. And you can see here, um, we'll go back to the group here, but down here, what you'll see is you see a solo chart, which is our label name. 
then we have our colors. So these colors can be changed. This is my first line and my second line. And then it's linear. There we go. So there's our information here. And you can see here that we're looking at the last 120 seconds of our of the information coming from our solo process temperature controller. And then if we look at the actual group, if you go to edit here, you will see that we have a solo process temperature controller as a name, and the overall name of our tab or, or our system is ACC Automation. So that is what our, our controller here will do. And that is enabled. So that's good. Cancel yeah, so that. Then what we have is uh, the next function is going to be um, taking our message and we're going to take our present value only. So we're going to display a text message onto our user interface. And that text message will be right here. And that's what we put in here. So let's look at the text message and we're just going to label it PV with the message payload. And we're going to use the um, labeling on the center. Next we'll take the set value and we'll do the same thing. We take our set value and divide by 10 again giving us the point decimal and then we go into our actual um, text uh, dashboard UI and you can see here here's my set value here and we're going to again center this. Next, what we'll do is after we've got that done, we go into our, our function block that actually reads the set value from our click PLC using Modbus TCP. When we get that information, then what we'll do is we actually uh, will store that information or, or look at that information. We come in here and then we have a user interface here, which is our set value local. So we have a switch and that switch right here what will it will do is decide whether our set value is coming from locally or from our click PLC so if we double click it you can see here my here's my switch and my payload is either true or false and then we go into a function block and that function here sets our switch so that the rest of the flow could actually see that status that we want then we also have our local control in the local control, what it will do is provide a, a slider for us, and that slider on our UI will actually determine what the variable is going to be. And we're going to make it from 0 to 1000. Remember, we have one decimal place automatically in there. So that'll be 0 to 100 degrees C that we're doing. And our output's going to be constant. And that's our message payload. So then what we do is we have to then take that function and we set it to a flow set so that the rest of the flow can actually see that variable and then we return that value into our program so that is that function then you see from this mod bus uh, getter from our read value we come down here to a function and in this function what we do is we say if the switch then what we do is we get slider or we use a slider value that we've saved and that will be used then in our values here if not then what we're using is the actual value read from our click plc so that is our program next what we can do is take a look at actually the dashboard itself and some of the variables we can actually use in it and if we go down to um, or go over to our dashboard and then just call that up We will go to get this arrow over here, arrow down, and we'll look at the dashboard information itself. And here we can see the actual general layout. So we have ACC automation, and we have our solo process uh, temperature, and then we have our default. On our site itself, there is um, the variables including the actual hole size, which is 48 by 48. And the widget spacing would be six by six, a group spacing six by six. Then our theme, we have changed to the dark theme 
and the base color is going to be this color. Again, we can change all these settings that we want on our dashboard itself. So that is how we change our dashboard. Now, actually looking at the dashboard, we call up a new, um, a new uh, tab in our browser, and we type in the local dot one eight eight zero slash UI. Then it will automatically start showing you what we actually program. So here's our title. There's our chart, which we are showing our present value and set value in 120 seconds here. And currently right now, our present value is 21.4 and our set value is 14.3. Then what we can do is we can change this locally. And as soon as we do, you see that our value changed to zero because now our slider will control it and we can actually take our slider and move it in order to uh, change our value. Change it to 28, we can change it back a little bit. There we go. So now we have local control over our, our um, information. Now, if we actually physically look at the actual hardware that we're using, here it is right here. So here's my Click PLC, and we have our battery using our analog input, and we're actually controlling um, our set value using that. It's going into our first analog card right here on our Click. And then there's our solo process temperature controller, and we have a, a USB to um, Modbus RTU serial. So it's going into our solo and grabbing that information. And there's our probe for our solo. So as I touch the probe, you will see that my temperature will start going up and now that'll, that'll take my corresponding information on my graph and you can see it going up as well. Then again, if we take our, put it locally control, we can take our pot and turn it, and you can see I have local control that I can now control the temperature. And if I had a cell phone, which I do right here, you can see I can call it up on my cell phone and I actually will get the information as well. There are diff different methods of doing the same thing, and um, that would be great that you can see that we can easily implement our dashboard in our um, node red. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below. If you have any questions about the video, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. If you want more information about us or you want our free ebooks on numbering systems or robust data logging, please click on the link in the description below to get it. A new video is put out every Monday, so make sure you hit the subscribe button so you get more videos like this in the future. Remember to click the bell beside your subscription to actually receive those notifications. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Stay safe.